Alistair Crowley, the famous English occultist, a mystic, a ceremonial magician, an author, a poet and a painter, as well as a mountaineer. He rejected the morality of Western Christian civilization and sought out esoteric truths. He carried out mystical rituals, got involved in ritual sex. He was a member of several Freemasonic orders, although utterly rejected by the British establishment. Some people claim he even worked for British intelligence at one point. His unchristian nature gave him a bad reputation. Due to his conflict with Christian morals and ideas, many vicious and almost puritanical rumours were spread about him, suggesting that he ate human flesh, feasted on young virgins, and other such rumours creating the picture of some occult master with a vampiric nature. Yet such claims were never substantiated. He trained in ceremonial magics and eventually was drawn towards the philosophies of the East, Hinduism, Buddhism. While on honeymoon in Cairo in 1904, he claimed to be contacted by an ancient spirit. Supposedly this ancient being told him all he needed to know for his own holy book, as a foundation for his own religion. The new holy book was called the Book of the Law, and his new religion was called Philema. A large part of it was to do with aligning yourself to your true will through ritual magic. Over time, his belief became more established, and in 1912, he joined Ordo Templi, Orentius, becoming the head of the British branch of the organisation. Through this cooperation, he spread his belief to Britain, to Australia and North America. In the First World War, supposedly he infiltrated the pro-German movement in America on behalf of British intelligence. After the First World War, he set up an abbey of Philema on Sicily, he was condoned by the British press and later by the Italian government, who forced him out in 1923 due to his libertine activities, sex, drugs and ritual magic. Until his death, he spent time in Germany, France and England promoting his belief. Even though he came to attention as a mountaineer, a poet and an occultist, he was heavily criticised for experimenting with drugs, with sexuality, and due to his rejection of traditional values, he was denounced in the popular press as the wickedest man in the world, and even labelled as a Satanist. Many of the claims were simply based on the opinions of the press, and the incredibly conservative nature of the early 20th century. The term Satanism, much like today, was thrown around by religious fanatics who couldn't deal with individuality and differences in a society so heavily emphasised by Christian virtue.